Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, um, we just finished up with Castle Redcliffe. And, let's see. Well, now is a good time to save. Save the day! Because that's what we do. That's what Grey Wardens do. As well as riding in on griffins. There are no more griffins. Anyway. Let's go back to camp. I want to take care of a few things. Loading. Loading. Oh. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Now, depending on what you chose, this conversation can go either really, really well or really, really badly. Um, he, despite his issues with these old and everything, if you had let her die, he would blow up on you and it would not, this conversation would end with like, you know, negative approval and everything. Anyway, I think it turned out quite well, don't you? I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isle's family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. Hmm. You're welcome. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? That will be a reference to Buffy. Not that I'm actually much of a fan of Buffy. Well, I didn't really watch it, but... That's what I said. Was he approves plus seven! That's what I understood of the uh, series, anyway. So I read it. I'm all over the place. And one of the other things I wanted to do while we were back at camp... Let's see, what's his approval at right now? With the plus seven, that puts him at 72. And has he been? Yeah, he's been at care for a while. So, um, I have something for you, Alistair. Something you kind of mentioned a while back. Let's see, Mo Alistair's mother's amulet. Is that this? This is my mother's amulet. Why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I found it at Redcliffe Castle. In the study. Oh, the owl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. Then he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Perhaps you mean more to him than you think. I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Of course I remembered. You're special to me. Is this the part where the music starts and we begin dancing? Because I'm game. <laughs> Where's the minstrels? He approves plus 12. And where does that put him? I can't do math and I don't remember what he was just... Okay, at 84. And you notice it's now set to a door. That rhymes. Anyway... Let's see. Look. And now if I'm correct, this conversation will be, will in fact, be one of the, okay, well, you'll see. So, all this time we've spent together, you know, the tragedy, the brushes with death, the constant battles with the whole blight looming over us. Will you miss it once it's over? And I was right. Hmm. 
It makes me tear up just thinking about it. Ha! <laughs> uh, there'll be no more running for our lives. No more dark spawn. Ugh, and no more camping in the middle of nowhere. I know it might sound strange, considering we haven't known each other for very long, but I've come to care for you a great deal. I think maybe it's because we've gone through so much together. I, I don't know. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe I'm fooling myself. Am I fooling myself? Or do you think you might ever feel the same way about me? Hmm. If you choose that last option, more joking, you're a very funny man. Um, I think he would actually go, like, to the other extreme. Or he would disapprove quite a bit. Um, but considering that I said pretty much right from the beginning that this was the character that my warden would be romancing, I'm gonna go with this one. I think I already do. So I fooled you, did I? Hey, music? Music? Can you back down? Seriously? You're pretty and all, but seriously, shh. I don't know. I need more testing to be sure. Well, I'll have to arrange that then, won't I? Make his breath, but you're beautiful. I am a lucky man. Now, <clears throat> let's get back to what we were up to before, lest I forget why we're here. He approves plus five, that puts him at 89. See, this time I can do math. Um, and yeah, so officially, they're sort of in a relationship now. Now that he's made his confession and she's basically accepted it. Um, and at this point, if you had your approval really high up with other characters, there would be, you know, conversations of, you know, I really like you, but I'm kind of concerned about, you know, how close you are with this other person. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. I'm not interested in buying anything from you. I'm interested in dumping a whole bunch of crap off with you. Pretty sure I don't need that anymore, or that. Don't need any bow. Two of those. I'm gonna hold on to that for a moment, but get rid of the arrows that I don't need. For money, I don't need. I mean, yeah. Let's see. Hmm. And let's see, studded leather armor. Oh, wait. No! That's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Heavy plate armor. Havard's Aegis. Eamon shield that we stole from him. Sell, thank you. Mavari war harness and the black leather collar. Hmm. Enlarge flawed natural crystal. I'm out of time for this installment, but I'll see you next time on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Hope to see you then.